dude. Something's wrong. What's happening to me? Am I dying? I think it might be worse than that, man. I don't know. <sighs> Greetings, fellow movie lovers, and welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle. I'm a huge movie buff, and this is my channel where I react to mostly action and superhero movies that I've never seen before, but also other stuff that looks interesting or new. I started the channel so I can understand the inside jokes and references in WandaVision, and here we are two and a half years later, still reacting. It's Halloween season, and a couple of the reactors I watched reacted to The Fly, and so I was seeing that, and I'm like going, oh, I can't watch his reactions, because I've never seen them. That's a classic. Why haven't I ever seen it? And that's the maximum amount of thought that I put into choosing this movie for <laughs> right now. It's Halloween, so why not? And it's kind of part of the cultural zeitgeist, and I want to know what all the fuss is about. Plus, you know, it's Jeff Goldblum and Dina Davis, so like two amazing actors, so why not? It's got a 93 and an 83% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty high. Although, now that I'm seeing the picture that they put on the top of their Rotten Tomatoes listing, it looks pretty gross. <laughs> I hope I can handle it. And I think I, I think I will wait to eat my leftover ramen stir fry until I'm done watching this. <laughs> Somehow I feel like these that and this, this movie are not going to go together. Crash is the only other movie that I've seen by this director, David Cronenberg. And I remember not loving that movie, and it's like it's kind of become a bit of a cliche now. So I'll be interested to see how this one compares, how it holds up. It's kind of an old movie from 1986, um, but it's a quick one, and I kind of love these short horror movies. There's only so much like gore and jump scares and tension that I can handle in one sitting. So before we get started, please like, subscribe, comment, leave comments, do all the things. It really does help the channel. And make sure to let me know what you would like me to react to next. Then check out my Patreon for full length and more obscure movies and everything over there is free to watch. So, all right, let's dive into The Fly. Yeah, this is only an hour and 35 minutes, so that's pretty short. Very dramatic music. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Sorry, John Getz. I don't know who you are. So those are the only three actors highlighted in the opening credits. That's interesting. What am I working on? <laughs> uh. So young. Ah! Somehow I get the feeling you don't get out much. <laughs> you can tell that? A little bit, yeah. I think you're making a mistake. I think you really want to talk to me. Sorry, I have three other interviews to do before this party's over. Yeah, she just walked away, dude. I don't think she wants to <laughs> talk to you. Was she either a reporter or something? They say they are. Yeah, but they're lying. I'm not. That worked? All right. I don't know. Just turn left. We're almost there. I don't know if I'd go to this undisclosed look warehouse location with a stranger. This is it? It's uh, cleaner on the inside. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe this is a bad idea. Oh, it's too late. You've already seen them. Can't let you leave here alive. <laughs> Not funny. Pause. Designer phone booths. <laughs> yeah. Very cute. Impressive, yeah. <laughs> so analog, I love it. So, uh, what do they do, the phone booths? Yeah, he's not very good at selling his ideas here. Let's see, let's hear what we're talking about here. That I could use something uniquely you, uh, an item of clothing or jewelry. Okay, here it goes. Those are cute shoes. Oh, <laughs> she's going to give him one of her stockings. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not how I thought this movie was going to start. I think I need a pair of purple suede pumps, don't you? Uh, Brundle, yeah. Voice recognition, that's pretty ahead of its time. Is that a hologram? Where's my stocking? That's it, the real one. Hmm. Interesting. Duh. This, if this were like an actual like today horror movie, he'd push her in there and like lock her in and she'd be stuck there for his experiments. What happened? 
You get it all right, you just can't handle it. <laughs> all right. Good to know. It'll change the world as we know it, right? Yeah, probably. Quotes. No, no, no. I thought this was personal. You can't write about this. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you don't invite a journalist over to your house and show her all your experiments if you don't expect her to publish them. I'd never have told any of this stuff to a journalist. But you did tell this stuff yeah, to like a journalist. He, she's, well, yeah, he knew she was. Did, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, none of them knows what the project really is. So. Oh, see, those shoes are cute, too. What do you think? It's a joke. What? He's conning you. Eh. Sure. He's at Carl Sagan's on the shelf. If you plan to make anything disappear, please let me know. I've got an assistant editor who's outlived his usefulness. <laughs> okay. He thinks you're a con man. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yeah, as I say, he's probably happy about that if he doesn't want his secrets out. I have a strong urge uh, to talk about what I'm doing. Okay, but maybe don't talk to a journalist if you don't want, <laughs> want it published. It's kind of an important detail. I can only teleport inanimate objects. That's still pretty good. What happens when you try to teleport living things? Not while we're eating. It's even worse than this. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. I don't have a life, so there's nothing for you to interfere with. Good to know. The one that ended all concepts of transport, of borders and frontiers, of time and space. What are you going to call it? The hell is that? Orange thing in the corner. <laughs> okay. Cute apartment. Somebody there? That's not what she was wearing before, though. What day is this? Is a different day? Yeah. Oh, who is it? <laughs> what are you doing in my apartment? <laughs> or ex boyfriend. <laughs> I have a key, remember? You gave it to me. I know I should have changed the lock. Maybe ask for it back, like right now. You still want me to come back? Move in again. No. So this is the guy that was in the, the other, that was like the third person in the opening credits. And I have seen him before. I'll have to see what other movies I might have seen him. What is that thing in the, <laughs> in the corner? An inch away from the Nobel Prize for Physics. Oof. It was only 20 at the time. At 20? Oh, God. Key. I'll keep it. No. Dude. Okay, so she's sleeping with him, too? So, like, that's what makes an awkward situation. But that, maybe start with a hamster? That's kind of a big animal. Is it just like all the parts loose in there? Like not put back together in the same places? Oh! Oh, don't, oh, Jesus. Maybe see what you're looking at here before you open it. Yeah, because it didn't quite put all the parts. Oh, poor, that's, that's cruel. Don't do that. That's yikes, especially if it's like alive when you do that. Does no. Oh. The world will want to know what you're thinking. Fuck is what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, <laughs> can't deal with flesh. It only seems to work with inanimate objects, nothing that's living. What if you tried like dead flesh to let it practice or something? Like it's steak. I don't want to talk now. Please don't have sex with them to make him feel better. That's not how you want to start your relationship. Do you ever change your clothes? Why are you wearing shoes in bed? What? You got plenty of room. Why are you sleeping on a sofa bed? No, these are clean. Um, I change my clothes every day. So you just have like 10 of the same version of everything? Yeah, he does. Kind of loving her 80s style, though, I guess. You're very cute. <laughs> you know that? Am I? Am I? <laughs> Really? This is how we're, how we're starting this? <laughs> He's as confused as I am. Nice place though, skylight and everything. That's very cool. Oh, oh. Oh, ow. What the hell? Do you have any disinfectant? That's okay. Is it though? You know, that's why old ladies pinch babies' cheeks. <laughs> it's the flesh. It just makes you crazy. 
Oh, is he starting to understand the flesh part? I'm try an experiment. <laughs> sure. What are we talking about? So we're, are we gonna try a steak? What's he gonna do with the plate? Ah, you put a hot, don't put a hot sto uh, pan in the, the sink. Now try this teleported half. Oh, are you serious? A monkey just came apart in there. Babu. <laughs> yeah, maybe put it under a microscope first. It tastes some synthetic. Oh, interesting. Rather than reproducing it. Exactly, and, oh, okay. something is getting mm. lost in the translation. Yeah, interesting. I'm not sure if we've really like established their her attraction to him and like their relationship and everything, but it's a short movie actually, and it's charming so far. It's like the dialogue's really good so far, and I mean it's making sense and kind of getting a feel for who they are as characters. Oh, uh oh, oh! It says particle on there on his thing. It's like <laughs> if it says if you have a personalized license plate, I don't think you can hide that you're that you're trailing your ex. You stayed frontal all night. Why didn't I believe you? And I'm sorry, how is that any of your business, Mr. Stalker boyfriend? Yeah, I think he'd look great in this. Don't you? Hmm? <laughs> He's like, don't involve me in this. Huge. Yeah? What? His cock? <laughs> Crude status. Dude. Not okay. Okay, but why are you starting with such big holes? That's horrible. Do like, do like a bunny or something. I'm like, I know bunnies are cute, but. <laughs> oh. I think it's time for champagne. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> so we're not we're not going deep into like the scientific details, are we? We're just gonna like assume that it works, that he's invented this thing. Is this a romance we're having? Is that what it is? Yeah, could Maybe. be a romance. Come here. They have good chemistry together. They're cute. Just keep me informed, all right? As a friend? <laughs> as a We're not friends, dude. Confidant? And we are confidants. I don't want you to disappear from my life. Then stop being such an asshole. What about sex? <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying love or affection, just stress relieving sex. No, no, no. You're disgusting. Yes, you are. Yeah. Under the desk of staff department. He's working for old boy. <laughs> that poor baboon. Was this the Ronnie game? So I'm guessing the baboon isn't quite right. Call me crazy, but. Oh, look at that. I can tell you're okay. Uh, at least like in this moment. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. So he's drunk and he's gonna go in, in the, oh no. Even the baboon's like, maybe don't do that, dude. Uh-oh. Oh he is, he's just like climbing in there. <laughs> oh man, that's a bad idea. Oh, they're both in the same one. <clears throat> I thought maybe they'd be in opposite ones and be like, transfer to that, but they're both in the same one. <laughs> He's like, dude, I saw a fly go in there. I'm sorry, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, because he's not exactly working in what we would call a clean environment scientifically right now. But it seemed to have worked, except the flies now inside him. Am I different somehow? Is it live or is it Memorex? <laughs> That's an old reference. Gotta love the black shoes with the white socks. That's so 80s. He's an old boyfriend. He was teaching at college. I was a science major. Oh, so not only kind of the publisher, but he was a teacher when she was a student in a college. It's just all levels of inappropriateness there. Okay, we heard it buzzing there. What's the... Is it like buzzing around inside him or something? <laughs> That's really annoying. All I want to do is like, oh, just scratching my ears out with that. Little peek of side boob there for you guys. 
Okay, this is creepy music now. First time I've been creeped out. What's happening? Oh, he's like super strong now? What the hell? And he's got like perfect balance and shit? Oh my, okay. <laughs> She's wondering like, could he do that before? What does this mean? <laughs> Interesting <laughs> way of uh, cutting there so that we see that it's not actually him. <laughs> Or that we don't see it's not actually him. <laughs> see, she, her outfits are fantastic. Proved me, and it said it didn't know what I was talking about, and that's made me think very carefully about what I've been feeling and why, and I'm beginning to... Th that's a lot of sugar. You know, I, I just don't think I've ever given me a chance to... Be not sure what that hat is, though. Is it like a, a Peaky Blinders kind of hat, or is it an actual beret? So, uh, listen, uh, not to wax mess up... <laughs> going <laughs> what is what's with his face i've been doing this for hours uh, uh, i'm not ready to quit yet well uh, dude I... what's this it's an attempt to distract me that's what it is oh the compensations of old age okay. come here where are you going oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> that's not good <laughs> this is not good i want you to go through i'm going to teleport you as soon as possible right now oh no run no, let's not do that. Something went wrong, Seth. When you went through, something went wrong. He looks like he's like having like roid rage or something. Seth, you have to listen to me. You're afraid to dive into the plasma pool, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> These are, I'm not concerned about like not enjoying, not wanting that. It's beyond the veil of the flesh. A deep, penetrating dive into the plasma pool. I feel like I've met guys like that before. <laughs> that are like so single-minded and unreasonably obsessed like that. What is he eating? <laughs> He's got no shirt on. Who's winning? I don't know. I don't think she's going to be part of the dynamic duo. That guy, you know. Mm. I got a hundred bucks says I can beat either one of you. <laughs> well, I'll take that bet, yeah. And I get to take the lady home for the night if I win. Says who? Do I look like a hooker to you? Hey. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, he's not looking good. What is that stuff? Is it just sweat or... <laughs> okay. I did not expect that to happen. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> it's a little too early to quit. Sure, a few more bars. <laughs> oh, this is just all just a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, he did himself again? That's a bad idea. It's not looking very attractive right now. I gotta go. Yeah, get out while you still can, sweetheart. Weird hairs that were growing out of your back. I took them to a lab. I had them analyzed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now there's some growing out of his face. Did I see that a second ago? Not human, Seth. Yeah, that's a problem. Look at me. Does this look sick? Does this look like a sick man to you? Mm, kinda. Yeah, look at yourself, dude. Can't think of anything worse than like having your fingernails fall off like that. Oh no! <laughs> What's that? Do flies? Does that happen to fly? I guess I don't. Maybe I don't know enough about flies to. What? What's gonna happen? Do I want to see this? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! 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 I can't look. Okay, yeah, dude. 
Something's wrong. What's happening to me? Am I dying? I think it might be worse than that, man. I don't know. Uh, I need the first teleportation as Brundle. It's funny because like every time you we click we cut away from him, we go back to a shot of him, even if like time wise it's meant to be like a minute or two, he 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 looks worse in every single shot, every scene change. What is secondary element? Not okay, but that that's not helpful. Uh oh. Yep, there it is. So the fly's DNA has been incorporated into his own DNA. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to know. Fusion. That's unfortunate. I've been trying to reach you. Where are you? For the last four weeks, I've been afraid to see oh, you. Oh, I thought for a second he couldn't talk. Oh, four weeks. Oh, these must be pretty far gone now. I'm surprised he can still talk. Okay, what is she gonna see? I don't. I don't want. To, I don't want. To, I don't want to, I don't want to. Chef, I'm here. Stop. <gasps> what was that? Jesus. Okay. <laughs> that was a weird jump scare. I wouldn't want to infect you. Okay, yeah, he's definitely uh, not doing well. What happened? I know it was okay. Uh, it's all like the, it's like the white milky, th uh, uh. I was not pure. The teleporter insisted on in your purity. I was not pure. Well, yeah, you're not exactly in a clean room or anything. We learned about what a fly can do in Breaking Bad, huh? Splice us together. It made it as me and the fly. We hadn't even been properly introduced. <laughs> well, it's good you still got a sense of humor. So I wonder if that's where... Um, oh, this stuff all over his shirt is so nasty. I wonder if that's where they got the idea to in uh, Breaking Bad. I'll have to look up if... What's his name? The guy who wrote it. Credits this as, as his inspiration. Well, then what do you want me to do? Why did you call me? Yeah. He's eating nothing but sugar. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah, oh no, I maybe wouldn't maybe wouldn't hug him. Maybe don't get his mucous membrane stuff on you. And his DNA. I don't get it on you. Okay, wow. That was a lot. If you saw how scared and angry and desperate he I'm sure Typhoid Mary was a very nice person too when you saw her socially. <laughs> yeah. God, is this gonna end with like him? Turning it fully into a fly, and then her like having gotten somehow the DNA messed with to like her DNA Do I got permission to uh, claim your body when this is all over. Yeah, mm. I wasn't on this guy's side before, but now I'm kind of like, hmm. You can come up here, but please don't be like freaking me out and walking by me and making my pants brush against my skin because that's creepy. Okay. All right, go lay over there. So will he be attracting other flies? Oh, up here. Oh. Got pretty good at it, haven't I? Okay, well, it's a benefit, I guess. Oh, look at this. What's this? I don't know. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, eh. The disease has just revealed its purpose. We don't have to worry about contagion anymore. Are you sure? I don't think that's correct. That's not too terrible, is it? Most people would give anything to be turned into something else. No, not a fly. I'm becoming Brundlefly. Brundlefly? Don't you think it's worth a Nobel Prize or two? No! No! His teeth are now useless because although he can... Teeth are useless? Brundlefly breaks down solid with a corrosive enzyme. He regurgitates on his food, it liquefies, and then he sucks it back up. That's how flies eat? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to say, please don't show me. I don't, I don't want to see that, any more of that. 
What's happening now? I'm pregnant. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> I didn't think that this could get any worse. Oh, so does the DNA... From... Oh, dear. She might give birth to a fly. That's so... Oh, my. Wow. Yeah, maybe have an abortion. Quick, 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 quick. Just to, just to do, snip that out right now. No, let's just, just not do that. <clears throat> no, we're not doing that. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. No, thank you. Never going to happen. Because, yeah, if it's, if it's from, like, post him becoming the fly, the fly DNA is mixed with his own DNA. Is there something wrong with me? Why am I losing it? It's better this way, Ronnie. You'll see. Losing it or getting rid of it? Chuck it the fuck out of there. Evict. 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 It'll be over soon. Here we go. Okay. What? Why is there so... What is... How far along is she? Oh, I suppose it's... was four... She said he said four months. Is she having a nightmare? Okay, let's say this is the camp. That's not... That can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> they had me going for a second there. Yeah, curl up in a little ball and cry yourself to sleep because that's horrifying. Wow, is that frontal fly? Oh no! Oh no! And there's only like 15 minutes left of the movie. Like, where are we? Where can we go from here? Oh, his his fingers fusing together. One or more pure human subjects. Oh, her? <gasps> this is like every kind of body horror thing. Like, oh. That's... Uh... Yeah, dude, you're pretty far gone. Artifacts of a bygone era. Of historical interest only. What was that one? Okay, wow. That's a lot of makeup and prosthetics, man. I don't even want to know how he, how long it took this poor guy to get into all of that. I wanted. So is she actually pregnant in the, the nightmare? Like how much of that was a, was a nightmare? The medicine cabinet is now the Brundle Museum of Natural History. You want to see what else is in it? No, thank you. I feel like you should be starting to grow wings or something. I'd like to become the first insect politician. <laughs> Dude, still trying to put a positive spin on this? Like, I don't think you cannot, you cannot spin this as okay, as positive or anything. This eye, the eyes are really creepy going all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to Google some of this, like how they did this makeup and the suit and the hands and the, it's, it's just a lot. It's a, like a poor guy. Wait for a few days. I don't think you're in the right state no, of mind. No, no. <laughs> I want it out of my body now. Yeah. Because I don't want it in my body. Do you understand me? I don't want it in my body. <laughs> Okay, so the whole being pregnant part is not a nightmare, but the, yeah, I, we don't want to wait an, any 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 longer than we absolutely have to. Let's just. Oh, he was up there. Okay. Well, okay. What's the story? You well, you're not gonna believe it, but. <gasps> okay, that was unexpected. So can he, like, apparently he can fly? Oh, but he got, did he get some of the DNA in him? Did he just cut his hand on the glass? The baby might be all that's left of the real me. Oh, okay, but I don't, mm, we've already shown that the, the fly DNA is pretty dominant. Please, <laughs> have the baby. <laughs> no, no. Like, there's not very long. There's not very long of this movie left. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what the hell's gonna happen by the end of this? 
so has there been a remake of this? It would be kind of fun to see like a remake of it with like the with more up to date effects. You know, not that the effects on the makeup or anything aren't are not really good here. They are for 1986. They're pretty darn good. Oh no! What was that shadow behind him? <laughs> Okay, oh. <laughs> Got a little bit of a green screen there. That's not quite good. So that's actually what happens, huh? With the, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> this is grossness. This is like... This is going to be the grossest movie I've ever seen. I mean, granted, I don't watch a lot of horror movies, but the ones that I've seen so far have not been gross like this. <laughs> They've been more creepy and psychological horror. Than... <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready to go into the gross horror <laughs> genre. Go there. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Okay. Wow. Those are cute shoots, too, though. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is really gross. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, please, somebody just kill this thing. Because it's not really him anymore. <laughs> okay, wow. Hurry up, dude. And do something, even if it's wrong. Although I do kind of want to see what would happen if, they did, if it did work and they combined the two of them. But I think we've demonstrated, like I said, the, the, the fly DNA is dominant. It's gonna it's gonna take over everything and Oh, but where did it teleport him to then? Into the third one. <laughs> this is wacky. <laughs> so wacky. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, he's got like, oh wow. Like parts of that. Okay, just, yeah, you gotta do it, sweetheart. Yeah, it's, yeah, put it out of its misery. No, I can't. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> Not so impressed with her, the female character here, as. Come on, you take care of business, sweetheart. <laughs> that is nasty. Oh, and that's it. Like, there's. I thought there for sure there'd be a there'd be a a thing about the fact that he cut his hand on the same glass that. Seth broke through. That would be like a bigger story of like now there's more flies or something, but all right. So I can't really say that I enjoyed that. Um, it was pretty gross. But it was interesting to see the movie making skills that went into it and the acting that went into, into it because like the script isn't that great. It's, it's very simple. The dialogue is decent, but the story is basically like arrogant scientist screws up and becomes a fly <laughs> there's not much more to it than that and i don't know that there's much that it says about like society or relationships or science or you know i i was kind of expecting after watching the first 30 minutes or so like just you know getting through the setup i i thought there there would be some more social commentary like robocop uh, which was made at about the same time but this isn't about, you know, science, scientific hubris run amok or the scientific community's pressure put on him to make him jump into experiments too soon or or they've got to have money. Like, you know, you get that in um, 
uh, one of the episodes of Fall of the House of Usher, the new one I think is on Netflix, which is very good if you're looking for something else horror wise to watch. Um, but there's there's a whole episode about that of like the you know what do you, what do you do when the scientific community and making money pushes you to have you know your experiments go when your experiments aren't ready when your product isn't ready but you know you have to push it out there this guy was just like a bad scientist by not working in a clearing environment (laughs) and kind of a bad boyfriend making an emotional decision about his science because he was insecure in his relationship Uh, but I'm not upset about that like it's, it's made for an interesting plot because you know this guy's crazy and he's just a little weird and you're wondering like just how weird he's gonna get and I think that the acting, though, and the, and the 100% total buy-in from Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis here is what makes the movie palatable, I guess. I feel weird using that word, <laughs> given what I just watched, because there's nothing palatable about what, what I just watched. But their chemistry and sense of, like, having fun, and they just they went the distance with this. It, that's the reason why this movie is such a classic. I, I absolutely attribute it to them. That and the uh, the prosthetics and like the whole like body horror and the, the grossness. I could really see teenage boys being like, wait, look, this is so cool. It's in a gross. Oh my God, look at it. It's amazing. Um, and people who like, I guess there are people out there who like this kind of horror. Like, I feel like, of course, they would think highly of this. Um, I'm just not one of those people. <laughs> But the effects, you know, the body suits, the the, the slow progression of him turning into the fly, I got all of all that, that 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 was pretty impressive. Even though I hated seeing it, I was impressed by it. So yeah, I think it definitely deserves its best makeup Academy Award. I got that that's well deserved here. So yeah, I'm glad to have watched it, and to know what all the references are referring to. Will I ever watch it again? No. <laughs> I'm glad to have watched a horror movie, though, that could be categorized or would be categorized as body horror in order to know that I should probably avoid those in the future. Like, it's it's funny because I don't mind the blood. Scream got pretty bloody, and that didn't really bother me. The same with a couple of the Patreon requests from Calvin that I've had this past year that are on my Patreon. There's there's quite a few of them that get very, very violent and bloody And um, even, you know, with a few jump scares, which I've kind of gotten over, but whatever. It's the goo and the teeth falling out and the fingernails and the pus. Like, yeah, that kind of made me almost throw up. (laughs) You saw me hiding my eyes. Like, I don't know that I'll be reacting to many more or any more of these kind of body horror movies. I mean, I love you guys and I want to provide fun videos for y'all, but I don't love you that much. I am not vomiting on camera for you. So yeah. So thank you all very much for joining me in the grossness that was The Fly from 1986. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave comments, subscribe, do all the things. It really does help the channel. Check out my Patreon. There's a bunch of stuff over there for free that you can watch. You don't even have to sign up. So yeah, thanks for watching with me.